what are the common ways to store a secret or, or how do we do secret management so there are multiple answers to such to, to this question either we can keep my credentials in configuration file or in properties file or i can put them directly in the source code or can share it via email or i can keep them in configuration management tools like chef puppet or ansible or could be in s3 or could be as a i can store it as a plain text now the question is are our secrets really safe what if an application logs it what if it is available in stractus what if it is available in my my memory dump what if, if those gets populated as a part of my monitoring report do i have access control can i see who actually responsible for leaking those secrets do i have rotation credentials so these are the modern questions we have whenever we discuss about secret management so vault is a centralized tool provided by hashicorp which answers most of our questions which helps us to do a communication between machine to machine or a human to machine and it supports both static as well as dynamic secrets in further sessions i'll discuss very deep about you know what is the difference between static and dynamic secrets and how dynamic secrets helps us to solve most of our previous questions now managing secrets and credentials can be a very big headache if you don't have a simple tool to do it for your developers to use you are likely to find them in plain text or everyone's computer or words in the repository vault allows an easy way to encrypt generate and store credentials for your workload across your organization now these are the key features provided by vault so it helps us to manage a secret sprawl it allows dynamic secrets many times secrets aren't very secret secrets are shared among team members secrets are committed in code secrets are not rotated as often it should be static secrets are a risk to an organization a risk that hashicorp vault helps us to resolve it now we hashicorp provides us multiple ways where we can do communication it supports both ui it supports cli it supports api these dynamically created credentials have associated lease and ttls that is time to leave once the ttl has expired so the credentials automatically gets expired so if you have ever used two factor authentication dynamic secrets essentially functions the same way so instead of using a static password every time just give a request to vault vault generates a temporary one on demand and make sure that only authorized users have access to it it's open source it is self hosted it has a very small binary which you can easily run it on any laptop or anywhere you want it helps you to maintain your pki certificates it, the functionality of vault can be extended with multiple secret engines and authorization engines it has a leasing and renewal functionality revocation is there secret rotation is there audit control is there so audit logs are you know we can get audit logs in the json format which we can later integrate with the elk so if we are technical we can you know get all those logs in the form of jq or we can read all those from akibana now let's talk about vault concept so whenever a client needs a credential he will make a communication with the vault it could be via api it could be via ui or cli it provides all three ways now authentication policy secrets and auditing are the main components for vault we will discuss this in later sessions now authentication and secret engines are the two main categories by vault so authentication it means how the user will log in or how the application will log in so whenever it's a user so i have these left hand side ways where i can in a use those auth methods like user pass github my ldap my jwt and all those whenever a application is dealing or whenever a application wants to make authorization it will so approval this uh, aws is token so these are the ways i can use it for uh, for auth methods of secret engines like cloud i have aws azure 
google cloud for database for internal like kv identity and transit transit is for uh, making encryption my token certificate so these are the security engines provided by the world so hello everyone this is me rahul kinge and welcome to my learn up channel this session is just for the introduction but in the later session i will cover the installation what is the difference between uh, a dev mode and enterprise mode what are the security engines so just to get you moving i will first cover kv and then we'll move to this pki and ssh we will see how vault acts as a intermediate ca or a root ca what are roles and policies so i'll cover many real life use cases to explain more about these roles and policies so if i show you like this so assume in an organization creating a one working for creating an application so i have admin security and developer now let's say i have these three policies attached now admin should be able to have access only to admin secrets security only to security secrets and developer should have access only to application secrets now what if developer tries to access security secret or admin secret so it should get permission denied so we will see this use case while explaining these rules and policies auth method like app role is a very deep thing you know we must understand because every application as i said whenever it's application to application communication we should use this app role user pass is there so whenever time comes to explain these app rules i'll see i try to cover real life use case for app role like policy control one is role controlled or if i'm using any jenkins pipeline or any ci cd so we will see how we can do it in an automated way we will do deep dive on pki secrets engine or sss secret engine and later how vault agent you know helps us to do this in an automated way so we will cover all those in this session so right now i'm in this session it, it was just an introduction why do we need vault and why the necessity is there in the next session we will see the installation and then followed by this sequence so be with me see you in next video thanks for watching my video please like comment and subscribe this would help me to work on myself